we're just north of Dibba, so just inside the border of Oman, having come through the United Arab Emirates. It is hot. Um, when I heard it was going to be in the 30s, I thought, that's, that's hot, but it's doable, but it is very hot, so it's going to be a real challenge. That's it. Like, there's no going back now. That's it. We are about to have breakfast and then, and then start walking. The climbing has been unbelievable. I think I thought I was probably trekking along trails and sort of along pathways, and it hasn't been like that at all. We've been around rock faces, uh, with sheer drops. We've basically been like mountain goats. The terrain is just so difficult to describe. Um, very, very sharp rocks. Um, it's just, there's just nothing around. Um, and you know, when you're climbing a mountain in 35 degree plus heat, um, it really brings it home what an unforgiving territory this is. But no, last night we slept on a beach, which when we saw it written down, we were all like, amazing, that sounds so romantic. I mean, the moon last night is beautiful. But I think as soon as we got here and it was dark, <laughs> and none of us could see what we were doing, uh, I think the romance so slowly went away. There's been lots of hugs, a lot of sweaty, sweaty hugs. We had a little boogie up on a rock, a lot of tears as well. Every single person is amazing. They have their own story to tell, their own motivation. It's like you keep each other um, on the straight and narrow, everybody picks each other up. It's an absolutely amazing place. Yes, it's hot, and yes, it is hot to be trekking in, but standing on top of these mountains, beautiful vistas, it's been amazing. But obviously being here uh, and trekking and seeing it all, yeah, I feel like I've accomplished something. It's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. It has been absolutely amazing. I have made some lifelong friends and I'm just really proud of everything that we've achieved.